Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so we are back in the catacombs again, and um, if you remember, the archbishop said we had to go to some guy's tomb and something about an inscription. So yeah, so there's where we just were. So we'll head down to the next level, um, and here we go. The Dryden family tomb. This is an extreme challenge dungeon that contains extreme difficulty monsters or puzzles. Ah, our first extreme challenge dungeon. Yes. This is a tough one. I do remember this one. Um, this may take us a while, because... The unearthly cries of the undead fill the tomb. The dragons have woke up from their long rest and hunger for slaughter. Eh. Whatevs, dude. The sapphire gate is shut. We will have to find a way to face it. Okay. No worries. Here, let's turn on my song. I'm so used to that number being so much higher than four. It's my other bard, it's like fifteen. A plaque on the floor reads, Marn Dryden, first of the line in the reach. Come here, Ancestor. Ooh, you want some too? Archer skeletons, come here. Yeah. You got nothing. What else is better? Oh, you guys want some? Come on. I'm standing here. Let's do this. Take y'all down. Yeah, anybody else over here want some? Here, how about you? Want some? You want some? Come on. Stand up. Yeah, I tried an ancestor fool. Potion of tumbling. Okay, guys. Sit down. Okay, do we clear the room? I think we cleared the room. Let's hit the lever. You hear a clatter from the hallway. The sapphire gate is open. Okay. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, guys, we're on. I mean, I, I know I, I say this over and over again. We are on casual, so there's like. I'm blowing through this like it's no problem. Um. This is. Typically speaking, kind of a difficult quest. You know, more difficult than your average level 2 quest. Oh, I'm hurt your boy. Um, Three sunstones are mounted above the gates to Gerard Dryden's tomb. The shadows within the tomb shift disturbingly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, especially on um, those those Dryden ancestors, which um, I think they toned them down a little bit. Um, but I remember going through this on... Um, like on Elite. And each one of those ancestors would take me a good five or ten minutes to kill. Um, because neither one of us could hit each other. I couldn't hit them, they couldn't hit me. So 
Oh, unlock the door. Oh, we can't pick the lock. <laughs> okay. Because uh, we were both so tanked up. So it would be this huge epic battle. And because of that, it would end up taking me like two hours to finish this dungeon. Here on casual, and I actually, like I said, I think they toned them down uh, quite a bit. They're not quite so armored up as they used to be. Down you go. The emerald gate is shut. You will have to find a way to raise it. Here, skeleton. Uh, heal ourselves. Okay. Did my song wear off already? Spiders. A plaque Ooh. up on the floor Black Widow. reads. Angari Dragon. Dead spiders. Come on. Come on. Come on, son. Come on. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, y'all sit down. Wow. of guys over there. Goodness. Okay. Die, Mr. Ancestor. Is everybody done? Is everybody done? Good, good. You're all good. <laughs> uh, it's just so much fun. Okay. Never. You hear a clatter from the hallway. The emerald gate is open. The emerald gate is open. Oh, potion. Mage armor. Well, <laughs> let's not leave that behind. Zero ancestors. Here, how about you? You want some? Where you at? Alright, let's go open. Clear this out. Okay, there's that interior area again. Alright, come on, all three of you. Ooh, and a dog. Okay, Ooh, another dog. Hey, I'm trying to look at the map. Do you mind? Making a lot of noise, too. Okay, guys, that's where we came in right there. Then we came in down this corridor. Then we're going up this corridor. So that's where things are at. Let's continue on. Let's, let's cast some healing. The scratching sound grows louder, then turns into thunder. Something trapped inside a sarcophagus runs out. Oh, but, uh, don't worry. Everybody will get their chance. But you, you want some? You want some? Come on. You're archer boy. Yeah. Door. This one we can open. What you got? A plaque upon the floor reads Emilian Drive, Abbess of Greatland, and Mistress of the Church Treasury. Okay. 
place out. I think we cleared it out. Yep. Grab the chest. Uh, ooh. We completed some sort of objective. Um, wow. 473 experience points. Nice. Okay. Go away with that now. Okay, continuing on. <laughs> Ooh, plus one heavy mace. Wow, nice. Nice drop for a level two quest from a sarcophagus. Potion. Oh, what do you guys want? Oh, did you just critical hit me? I know you didn't just critical hit me, fool. Okay, guys, so again, we've reached the end of the second corridor. As you can probably guess, we're going to go down this corridor and then end up back where we started. <coughs> That's how this dungeon works. Okay, this is a shrine. A plaque upon the floor reads, This sanctum in memory of Iso Dryden, prior. You hear a clatter from the hallway. The topaz gate is raised. Um, hmm. You know, our song expired. Go. Alrighty then. Come on. Kill you all. I don't care. That's right. Give me your stuff. Ooh, another necromatic gem. Nice. Some too? Come on. Come on. Silly skeletons. Alright, somewhere back here. Here it is. Let's clear out this little side door. Side area. There's the central area again. Check out how many we've killed. 136 monsters so far. And we're not done yet. <clears throat> okay, there's a closed door. I don't think we can we can't pick that one. Come here, Mr. Ancestor. You would think all the skeletons in this tomb would be Dryden Ancestors. I mean, why would you be in the Dryden family too if you weren't the Dryden ancestor? You know what I'm saying? Okay, did I see something? I guess not. Okay. Oh, 
Come on. Come on. Come here, Archer. Come here, Ancestor. The Amethyst Gate is shut. You will have to find a way to raise it. Okay, we're on the last corridor, guys. Who in here wants peace? A plaque upon the floor reads, Charas Dragon, Dark Captain and Friend of the Holy Flame. Oh. Oh, yeah? Skeleton Exterminator 1, nice. Okay, did we clear the room? I think we did. Okay, let's hit the lever. Oh, there's some moss over here. You hear a clatter from the hallway. The Amethyst Gate is raised. The Amethyst Gate is raised. Yeah, it is. All right. Tomb, you hear the sounds of cracking bones, gnawing teeth, and gibbering laughter. Silly dogs. Plus one long sword. I'll take that. <clears throat> She got. Come here, ancestor. Oh, where's your backup? Where's your backup? Where's your backup? Yeah. Not so big now, are you? Come on, the whole lot of you. Let's go. Did take some damage. All right. No problem. There, there you go, guys. We're back where we started. How did I miss this coffin? There's sarcophagus. Can't be good. Good, it's all good, there's a chest. The key of the inner crypt. Okay, we got the aggression bonus. We got 182 dead monsters. Uh, okay, keep continuing on. The black on the floor reads Dragon, Sword of the Light Undying. Uh huh. Here, dog. That's right. 
Sword arm is getting tired. Let me just say, guys, that if I was playing this on a harder difficulty, like Elite, I would not be opening up um, four sarcophagus at a time. That would just be a really bad idea. Hear a click from the direction of Gerard's tomb. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, let's head this way. So what we got to do now that we've got all... The... Did I not clear this out? Man, I'm just going too fast. I'm paying attention. Um, look, we're doing... See that, that gem up there? It's lit up, so we got to do the other two. Shoot me in the back? Are you shooting me in the back? I don't see anybody else here, so you must be shooting me in the back. Alright. Anyway, let's head back this way. So now that we got this key, we can open up these doors that we couldn't open before. Such as this one. Plaque upon the floor reads Pascal Dryden, Marshal of the Militant Clergy and High Paladin of the Flame. Yeah, yeah. This is a potion of Cure Light Wounds. That's the first useful potion I've seen drop. Silly skeletons. Okay, we got this place cleared out. It's pretty clear. It's at the lever. Hear a click from the direction of Gerard's tomb. Okie dokie, let's see here. Where's the last room? It's like all the way on the other side of the... Um, I guess since we're here, we might as well hit the shrine just to kind of refresh our songs, top off our spell points, all that kind of good stuff. All right, very nice. So see, now, now we're back up to four songs. head on down. We're almost done, guys. We got this one last room to clear out, and then we got to do the center area. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> okay. You all are next. Who's in here? Zombies? A plaque up on the floor reads... Herein lies Maverick Dryden, Bishop and Defender of the Faith. That's right, conquest bonus. Conquest bonus. Who are you? Why are you in my face? There we 
everybody sit. Okay. What you guys, you guys want to pop out? Nope. Need a little help to get out of those sarcophagus? Metal. The sunstone gates enclosing Gerard's tomb grind open. All right, you heard the guy. Uh, where's the um? Go for crying out loud. There's one on each side. Okay, the tomb is open. So here we go. Now. Go ahead and refresh our song, because still got a minute and a half, but this is the final battle, so I'm not really gonna. Hello, Gerard. Back on the floor reads Gerard the Hey, hey, hey. What else you got? shudders violently and explodes in a storm of jagged stone. It's all good. Everybody's down. Everybody's down. Let's collect all any, any and all stuff that might have fallen. There's a potion of mage armor. Wow. <laughs> a potion of mage armor. Give me your chest. Boots are performing. Hmm. All right. That's actually not unuseful for a bard. All right. Let's go ahead and read this thing. Ta-da! Okay. We're out. <laughs> Okay, guys, not too bad. That only took us half an hour. Which is actually less time than I thought. Okay. Now we gotta go run all the way back up to the top of the tower and talk to what's Archbishop Dryden again. So let's go do that. That's the only thing about this series of quests. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. All the stairs. on inside. Archbishop Dryden waits to speak with you at the top of his dais. Yep, I've seen it. Okay. Ring of Disabling plus three. I think we already have something of Disabling. Ring of Seeking. Let's see. What do we got? I think their goggles are plus three, right? No? Actually, that's not true. Spot, spot search and listen. Um... Hmm. Armor bonus, resistance plus one, strength plus one. See, that ring might not be bad. Okay, so, uh, something about 
purifying the altars. All right. Wow, look at that. All my slots are full. Let's see here. Let me see my skills. Disable device 10. Put on this ring. My disable device is still 10. Why? Wait, do I have something on that's got a disabled device? I don't understand. What's going on? Something's giving me a plus three already. What's giving me a plus three? Ah, there it is. Troubleshooter. Okay, oh, this is what's also giving me bonuses to my fortitude, reflex, and willpower saves, which is why this ring is not... That's giving me a resistance bonus to fortitude. And what was this giving me? A... F insight bonus. Well, that, that should stack. I'm so confused. Well, whatever. So we got troubleshooter goggles, and what's the other piece? Troubleshooter necklace. There's a resistance bonus. Resistance. Ah, that's why. There's your resistance bonuses. Fortitude, reflex, and will, and there's also a roof. That's why this is not affecting my saves. That's what it was. It only took me about six dungeons or so to figure that out, but there you go. Okay, so that ring doesn't do me any good. So did I take it off? Should have on the other stuff, okay. Alright guys, um, yeah, let's go get our inventory taken care of again. Probably at some point I should get rid of that troubleshooter stuff. Um, it's starting to become a little obsolete. I have other stuff that will take its place. Um, yeah. Okay, lagging. Lagging. No more lag. these. Oh, look at all the stuff that's damaged. Thank you. Alright. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Mmm, woods of performing. Don't need that. Necklace of accuracy. Um, I think I already have an accuracy item, so I don't need the string of disabling. As grenades, gear, moderate wounds, uh, visibility jump, mage armor. Not useful. Resistical, resistance, tumbling. Not useful. Uh, Scroll of Nimbus of Light, um, can't use this. I already have an accuracy item. Hmm, do I want to keep Boots of Performing plus three? I'm not really using my songs as, um, offensive songs. They're really more buffs, so I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Alright, so what do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 open slots. Really nice if I could find a bag. Anyway. Uh, so if we look at our compendium, level 3 quests. So yeah, there you go guys. We finished one, two, three, four of them. We're going to be going into setting the wards next. There's kind of, this is kind of a dual quest. And that might be... Let me look at this for a second. Um, no, there's three more. This is also part of an endgame Marguerite. So there's three more quests in this series. And then the, the final quest 
which is actually a level 4 quest. Uh, which is somewhere in here. End game, the Archbishop's Fate. Okay. Alright guys, um, so we'll leave off here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.